Andrea Mutianu. She may not even know what the plight of her team is, but the United States is on the verge of securing its first ever World Championship team gold medal. Who knows what didn't work today and you know just continued not to work for her and her team in that floor exercise. It all has convinced Tim Daggett, Melvin Schlego, myself, it's official. The women of Team USA are going to win the gold medal in this team final. Now, while Montreano was doing that performance, this was the reaction among the women, including Carly Patterson, this moments ago. Chelsea Memo, no, 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 we were way in front. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. That's a very frustrated Romanian coach, Octavian Bellu. They will be back. Here's Anya Hatch. Hug for Tasha Schweiker. Now, what we're told is that Courtney Fouquet's will get a gold medal, but Anya Hatch, because she was injured before any of the competition, and Ashley Postel, who was ill, will not. It seems unfair because they were part of so much of what went into this team, but that's the rule. And so it is official. The women of the United States, right now, here as we are, are the best team in the world after losing half their team to injury and illness. It started early, the gymnasts of Russia and China falling away, and now Australia is going to get a bronze medal as well. The difference a little bit less than the two-tenths of a point that China was penalized. Down to Andrea Joyce. Chelsea, congratulations. Everything this team had to go through this week, how were you able to put it behind you and pull through with the world championship? Well, first, we really were hoping that everyone is all right. Then we had to just go back and concentrate on what we were doing. For you personally, you weren't even supposed to compete here. You were thrown in at the last minute. You compete all four events, 15 years old. Are you a little surprised at how well you were able to compete? I was surprised, yes, but I had a lot of confidence coming in. All my, I was hitting my routines in practice, and everything was going really good, so I was real confident. Is this gold medal more special because of everything that's happened? 
Definitely. We had just so many injuries. Bad luck, but we pulled through. Congratulations. Tasha, all the bad luck. What does it say about the character of this team that you're able to win the gold medal? Oh, wow. All I can say is wow about this team. Uh, this was an amazing team. You know, we had so many curveballs thrown at us, and we're in training, and oh, oh, my gosh, not one more thing can happen. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. But you know what? We got out here. We pulled ourselves together. We said, you know, we have nothing left, and all we have to do is everything to gain. So You are the leader of this team. What did you say? You've got more experience than the other girls. What did you say to them to get them ready? You know, and I was like, we've had everything thrown at us. All we can do is go out there, use this audience, use this crowd to help us get through. Just have fun out here because, you know, I mean, we've been dealt these cards, and we played them well. Congratulations. Thank you. And Andrea, one of the bizarre moments that Team USA and Holly Weiss had to overcome was when she almost competed without a number and then had someone scratch one down on a piece of paper. Back down to you we go. Holly, a lot of drama out there for you today. First of all, on the bars, how much did that distract you, not having your number and having that delay? Um, well, I tried not to, like, worry about it too much, but everyone was trying to look through my number and I I wasn't exactly sure where I put it because I took it out of my bag in the back gym and I guess I just forgot to hand it to my coach to put on. So I tried to concentrate, but I think I was just kind of rushed and didn't take enough time. And then you go over to your next event, over to the beam, and there's another delay, not your fault, but the technical delay. How were you able to hold your composure for that? Um, well, you have to know that all things can happen in a competition like this and you just have to keep your cool and stay calm and just do the best you can. So I just tried to stay focused on what I was doing. A growing experience to say the least. Congratulations. <laughs>